I'll come back to that. With a show of hands, how many of you like donuts? Okay, good, good. I don't have any donuts for you, unfortunately, but I have a story that entails donuts. This man right here is very excited for donuts. <laughs> so if you would uh, just come with me for a little bit on this, uh, this story of mine. So you go into a, uh, a donut shop, picture, picture this, and on the rack you see a little bit of a, a mangled uh, original glazed donut. How likely would you to be, raise your hand, I should say, sorry, raise your hand if you would ask the clerk if they're gonna throw it away or not. Okay, yeah, see, that's where I'm the weird person because I did that. All right, well, say the clerk or shop owner tells you, oh yeah, we're planning on throwing that in the garbage. Raise your hand if you would ask him if you could have it. Okay, yeah, see, with, if the opportunity is there. So that actually happened to me and through asking, I got a free donut. And that's the, uh, that's the topic of my, of, of my talk today, the, the power that is behind asking. Because of asking, I've been able to get free donuts and free cookies, a broken TV that I was able to repair, and I was declined a first class seat on an airplane. I was told no, but that's okay. But before I get too far into the things that we can receive from asking, I wanna talk a little bit about why we don't ask for things. So why don't we ask for things? Click into the next one. Click again. There it is. Some of us might be embarrassed. Some of us might feel like it's rude or unkind. Uh, some of us don't want to feel like we're being a burden. Um, and some of us might feel, might just, might be expecting the answer no. And with the topic of it possibly being unkind or, or rude, I should say, uh, my wife and I are a little bit different. I am much an ask, very much an asker, and she's very much not so. She wouldn't ask a stranger if they, he could have a donut they're gonna throw in the garbage. If she could have the donut, sorry. Um, and when we were dating, she thought it was kind of funny and I was able to explain to her, I'm like, no, I don't, I'm not trying to be rude or I'm not trying to be weird. It's just like, if we can have it, why not? And if they say no, then cool, carry on with our lives. But it's that, uh, it's that fear of no, or just that fear of, of not asking that um, prevents us from being able to have uh, special experiences. And there's a specific um, reason that we don't ask that I wanted to highlight, and that is, you know, we're, like, like I said, we're afraid of, of being no. It makes us vulnerable when we do ask. And we have this, um, what I like to call our vulnerability shield. I'm going to put my mic down here. So for instance, you might be at a shop and you think, oh man, that, that donut looks really, really good, but um, I, I'm not sure if I want to ask him, so I'm going to put up my, my vulnerability shield. And hope, hopefully they'll just like, they'll just give it to me. Hopefully they'll just give it to me. Or another scenario, you um, see something that like, a, I don't know, a computer part or something that you're interested in that looks like someone's gonna throw away. So like, oh man, that'd be, you think, okay, that'd be really sweet to have, but um, I'll just let them decide if they're gonna give it to me. So I, I put on my vulnerability shield and I, I let them decide for me. Now think about this. You see someone who's sad, someone that you care about, and you think, oh, they know that they, they can come to me. I told them before, hey, you, you can come to me if, if you need any help. Sure, excuse me. But, uh, but so I, I, I won't go to them. I'm not gonna ask them because I don't want that to go weird. You put up your vulnerability shield. Uh, to take it a step further, think, what about when you're hurting and you're in pain? And you're thinking, man, I would really love it if someone would come and talk to me. But I don't want to be a burden. So I'll just put up my vulnerability shield. This is stupid. Get rid of it. All that does is deprive you of experiences. That's all it does. Whether that experience is getting something cool or something simple like a donut that was going to go in the garbage or getting to connect with somebody. So what do we gain when we do, one more time, when we do ask for things? Well, like I mentioned, you know, we, we can get fun little things. Um, we can also uh, improve our communication skills. My wife and I, when we share, hey, like I would like, when we ask, can you help me with this particular thing? Not only are we able to you know, know that the other person needs something and then help that person and then help each other with it, thus improving our relationship with one another, 
we're developing those communication skills and understanding that when we do voice those needs, uh, we feel better because we feel like we're being heard. Now, to, to take it a step further, you know, we build communication skills, but now I want you to think about a time when, when you were sad and someone came and asked you how you were doing. Just think about that for a quick second. Now, there's a time I wasn't having the greatest week and uh, my makeup artist at work asked me how I was doing because he could tell something was off. And when he asked me that, I felt like I, felt like I was noticed and I felt like I was cared for. I'm sure a lot of us have had experiences like that. Now, think of a time when you've seen someone hurting and you reached out to them and you asked, hey, like, how are you doing? Like, do you want to talk about it? And maybe they said they do want to talk about it. Maybe they said they don't. But the important thing is I can guarantee you they felt that connection simply because you asked. And that's you know, the real power of asking. And there's a difference between asking and offering to say, hey, whenever you want to talk to me, I'm here, buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because then they might be they might put up their vulnerability shield and think, okay, yeah, they said they could talk to me, but I don't want to bother them. But if you take the time to sit down and be like, hey, like, I noticed that you're in trouble. Or I noticed that you're hurting. Like, what's going on? Like, do, is it okay if we, like, I, I'm willing to talk about it. Do you want to talk about it with them? Because you're not only showing them, like, you know, you're open to talking about it, but you're showing them in that moment that you want to talk to them about it. And you're asking to have that conversation. And again, you know, they might say no, but you are still having that positive impact. And so that's why I wanted to share about this. That's why I wanted to talk about this is because the power of asking isn't just in, you know, getting fun little things and, and being able to have experiences because we're asking to maybe go with somebody somewhere. You know, the real power of asking is getting to connect with people and getting to be lifted by others and lift others. So that's my challenge to each of you today is to maybe it put down your shield of vulnerability and look for those people who you know that you can be asking those really sincere questions to. I challenge you to go out and do that and really experience the true power of asking.